Another evening of hardwood highlights and another night filled with high stakes district action. The McMinn County Cherokees got the best of Bradley Central inside Jim Smitty Arena back on January 10th. The Bears look to return the favor tonight. Sports reporter Samantha Casano was courtside in Athens and has our recap. Three weeks ago, McMinn County beat Bradley Central 68 to 60, but since that time, the Bears have been red hot, winning seven straight games. The pressure would be on for them on Friday as they hit the road to face the Cherokees again, and McMinn County had no intention of splitting the season series between these two 4A District 5 rivals. Everyone pumped up for this game, including the mini dance team. You could say they were the stars of the show. McMinn County was the star of taking advantage of mistakes early. Caden Hester intercepts a Bradley Central pass. He drives and lays it up and in to get the scoring started in this one. But the Bears are going to use the long ball to cut the deficit. Micaiah Daniel knocks down the three to get Bradley Central within one. The Cherokees know how to let it fly too. Tucker Monroe scored his 1,000th point this week. And when you hit buckets like that, it's easy to see why part of his 21 point effort on the night. Second quarter, Bears back to work. Caden Botts tries to find an open lane and floats it in with one hand on the three point play. Nothing but net for Trevor Carpenter, who ties the game at 28 with his triple. Bears trail by four at the break. McMinn County going to do more of that capitalizing off mistakes thing in the second half. Davian Evans with an impressive two points. Cherokees pull away in the second half and win this one final 71 to 63. Well, that was a district championship type game. That was a big, and I call it big boy basketball. You know, both teams, both teams were strong, both teams were well coached. I felt like that, you know, Zach does a great job and that was big boy basketball and that does nothing but get us ready for tournament time. The Cherokees move to 10 and one in district play. They close out the regular season on Tuesday against Cleveland. For now, at McMinn County High School, Samantha Cassano, Local 3 Sports. With the win, McMinn County's game against Cleveland on Tuesday for the regular season district title in that coveted one seed in the district tournament. Another team that would love to sweep their season series over a rival, and that's none other, none other than the Baylor Red Raiders who hit the road to the Macaulay School tonight. In fact, Big Red beat them in the best of preps tournament too. Surely they couldn't beat the Blue Tornado three times in one season. Macaulay finally got their first region win of the season earlier this week. Would like to get hot. Baylor, on the other hand, fighting for the top spot in the Division II AA East region. Red Raiders by three and a half. That would change in the third. It's the Blue Tornado heat out. Parker Robinson. What do you, you have to pay to get this sort of role? Asking for a friend. Macaulay on top by three. Not for long as Baylor comes within one. They take the lead right back on a nifty drive by Nisea Whaley. Fun end of the third quarter as Baylor leads by three, but J.C. Showman knocks down the three, sends the big blue faithful into a frenzy. Again, not for long as Jacob Uzinski with the finger roll as Baylor takes a two-point lead into the fourth. And now I welcome you, my friends, to the Zane Rostelli Show. Right from the jump in the fourth, number four gets the and one locked in laser focus too. The next time he drives it right down the middle as he extends the Baylor lead to seven points now in the final period. Red Raiders starting to run away with it thanks to sophomore Zane Rostelli. How about another and one? Hey, we almost got a smile there out of him too. Plenty to smile about if you're wearing red. Make it a hat trick for Baylor as they defeat Macaulay 54 to 46 for a third time this season. It feels really good. I mean, I haven't beat them here when I've been playing varsity, so it's, it's a nice feeling to get our first one here. There's a big difference between confidence and pride. Um, our kids just play with a lot of confidence in these games and, uh, and you know, keep their pride in check. And that's what allows you to win big games, uh, playing together and, and doing that the right way. And, when you're singing your alma mater on your rival's home floor, it's a pretty good night. We'll see how strong this Baylor team finishes. Hey, the Dr. Pepper Classic is next weekend as well at the Macaulay School. Now to some girls action as we head back to Athens, Bradley Central and McMinn County. Avery Brewer with a nice pass to Kimura Fields. Fields a freshman, by the way, baller. Brewer again finding everyone. Sloan Carpenter, cash money from the corners. The Barrettes look to bounce back after their first loss of the season. First loss since February. Jeez. How about some love for the Lady Cherokees? Jasmine Moses went up for the tip. Feels better when you get the base. Go up strong for the nice finish. More Kimura Fields. Look at this spin. Then the fade still banks it in for the deuce. Agent Zero having a night in Athens. She even had it going defensively. She takes this one away, then goes the distance with both hands. Did we mention she was just a freshman? Like literally just turned 15. Barrett's bounced back big with a district win. 77-20 over McMinn County. 